John Carney has a talent for bridging government with the private sector and with academia. And he understands that each of those worlds is unique and important, but by bringing them together, um, major projects can, can advance and, and progress can be made in ways that no one sector can do by itself. Congressman Carney, of course, has had a long uh, reputation in state government well before he became congressman, serving uh, both in a financial role with the state as well as in ending up as lieutenant governor. Through that journey, we all got to know John very, very personally because he chaired the State Science and Technology Committee. He had a lot to do with the growth parts of Delaware Bio and Delaware Technology Park and the whole recruitment uh, during the day of AstraZeneca and building of the Delaware biotechnology industry. Part of my job uh, as a member of Congress, as our own lonely member of the United States House of Representatives, is to try to build on uh, our economic base here, here in our state, working with individuals uh, in the Congress to uh, create opportunities for businesses to, to develop and create jobs here in Delaware. I've seen John at many meetings sitting at a desk studying the materials that were provided, abstracts or other documents that came in the folder, trying very hard to make sure he understands all aspects of a problem. When he asks questions, they aren't simple questions. A query for more information, for example, he asks a question that points out a, a shortcoming or perhaps a contradiction or some perceived bump in the road, a question that makes everybody think deeper about what, what was trying to be accomplished. One of his important accomplishments was the creation of the Delaware Biotechnology Institute as a centerpiece of a statewide bioscience initiative. The concept of a state science and technology plan was launched. Not only did John Carney support it, he chairs the committee for a number of years as Lieutenant Governor. The state was awarded two major federal infrastructure grants, the NSF EPSCOR and the NIH Henry Grant. Congressman Car Carney played an important role in winning these awards. I went with Dr. Weir and others to NIH and NSF to talk about various federal grant opportunities to promote our state and our institutions of higher learning. And ultimately, an application was made for so-called EPSCOR funding, funding, which was made, again, to develop this basic infrastructure, research infrastructure, and funding for uh, work done at uh, the University of Delaware, Delaware State University, Wesley College, and Delaware Technical and Community College. So all the institutions of higher education kind of working together. And again, promoting uh, bioscience and the idea was to uh, to work in conjunction with private sector companies there are thousands of Delaware Delawareans who are employed by bioscience companies DuPont, AstraZeneca, Insight, Agilent, lots of those companies um, they employ thousands of Delawareans make good salaries and, and really create uh, a um, a universe of people in our state with science and tech backgrounds, which is really important for any economy. He's a consummate champion of everyone in Delaware, particularly things like education and STEM, uh, all, all the small business world we all deal in, and of course, uh, building jobs and economic development for the benefit of the state. Delaware Bio does a tremendous job of bringing all the players together. I feel like I, I work with a team of uh, the bioscience people in our state and I'm delighted and, and honored, humbled if you will, to be uh, honored by my, by my colleagues.